Hello Art Beaters, Becky here with a new video and I hope you enjoy. If you want to keep up to date on all things Art Beads, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel right now. Enjoy! I did pull some seed beads to work with today with some of these uh, check glass beads. We've got all of these pretty beads to work with. So I chose some demi rounds in, um, this is the six aught size and the eight aught size. The six aught size, I found this really fun kind of iridescent color and then this matte gold color in the smaller size, which I thought was fun. I also found some really fun twisted bugle beads. I thought those were really pretty. Um, and those are, um, I've got links to all of these individual beads in my video description as well. Isn't that a fun color? And the twist just adds even more. Love that. And then I thought I'd use one of our seed bead blends. We've got Far, Far Away, which is one of my favorite color mixes, the 8-aught size. So beautiful. Oh, I love those colors. Really great. So I thought all of those colors looked good together. I've got some spacer beads here as well. So let's pick out what beads we want to use. So I think these would be really pretty in here, especially with those and those. So we might have to use those. Let's see. Maybe these two. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And then, let's see. Those are fun. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm having a lot of fun picking these out. <laughs> Maybe we could do like a dark moon possibly. We'll see where that goes. All right, that's a good start. Do we want any other contrast colors? I don't know about that. Let's see, maybe some of these or a purple. Ooh, purple might be fun in there. Okay, that's a good starting, starting point there. Ooh, I just love all these beads. So I really like these drops. And of course I'm thinking earrings cause I'm always thinking earrings, but we could do a bracelet maybe too. A bracelet would be fun. But I kind of want to use these as like little dangles. Ooh, those are just fun to play with. <laughs> Love that. Okay, I definitely want to use those. Definitely need these in my life. I especially like doing earrings on live just because I feel like they go quick too. Oh my gosh, these are even prettier off the strand. You guys see that? They glow. Oh my goodness, I love those. Okay, I do like these moons, but I might like, I might like the Nautilus more. We could do a Nautilus moon, that would be interesting. We'll leave the moons just in case we want to do something like that. There is like a little, a little gnat that is visiting me while I'm designing. <laughs> Maybe he's attracted to this spider web I don't know and let's cut that purple and see how that mixes up I've got some head pins and eye pins here too and some fun little ear wires as well let's see where do I want to start I'm thinking with this spacer well let's let's start with like a little maybe we'll start with one of these seed beads oh, I feel like a kid in a candy store there's just so many pretty colors in front of me right now <laughs> oh yeah, we'll start with that. I want to do this spacer and then one of these pretty guys and then this. Let's see. Ooh, okay, maybe we reverse this. I think that would work better. Do that and then that and then this. Oh, that's fun. What do you guys think? Ooh, that's pretty. And then maybe like this guy at the top. Wow, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm having so much fun already, I love this. Hmm, I don't know about this guy in there. Maybe we take that guy out and then do this spacer on both ends. That feels better. That's fun. 
Oh, I'm getting a new thought. What if we did? See, this is the fun part, just playing around. <laughs> oh, one of these. See what that looks like. And do you, this guy. Ooh, that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Ooh, I like that. Okay, okay, I like that. We'll set that aside for now. Um, let's see. We could do like this at the top of that. Where's the hole on there? There we go. So like this as a top dangle and then like little, little fringy dangles below. Hmm. Or we could do this guy. That might be fun. No, I, I don't know about that. What about this guy at the top? You guys just have to hear my thought process out loud today. <laughs> Lucky you! Mm, that might be too green and now that I'm looking at it. Or we could do... Let's see what I've got here. We could do this. Oh, that would be pretty in a bracelet, I think. Yeah, that in a bracelet would be fun. With like this and a round bead in the center. Okay, so not for my little drop here, but I'm liking that so far. But I want something, something at the top, you know what I mean? Like a, a focal here. So let's see what this could look like. Whoops. Mm, that's kind of fun. So like this, and then that, and then like little dangles below. Hmm. I don't know. Let's try this one. I don't know about these spacer beads in there. All right, let's try the moon just so we, just so we have a feeling of it. I do like that moon. It's such a sweet little face. I'm just drawn to those moon faces. I use them whenever I can. Okay, the moon is kind of cute, guys. <laughs> the moon is kind of cute. All right, I might have to do the moon. Let's uh, let's see what that looks like with um, these guys in there too. <laughs> I can hear Jen saying, "Love the moon." <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's in the office with me, so I heard her say love the moon. Okay, I do too. The moon is kind of cute. All right, we got to go with the moon, guys. I <laughs> love it. Okay, this is a darling. I love that. All right, we're doing the moon. It's Jen approved. Oh, cute. You guys, I like the moon a lot. I just can't resist those moons. Super sweet. Okay, and then I want like just... Just little dangles here on the end, just for a little zhuzh, you know? With that bugle. Yeah, okay, but what we're gonna do for even more zhuzh is we're gonna do a demi round, that dark demi round, and then that light demi round, then a bugle. Oh, how fun is that? Then we reverse it. And then we do one of these. Oh yeah, that is some fun zhuzh. <laughs> some fun zhuzh over here. Guys, how fun is it to make earrings? You guys, I wear many hats here at Artbeats, so sometimes like the first opportunity I get to design in a week is Thursday live videos. So it's so much fun to sit here and chat with you guys and design with you guys and kind of talk through the process and just be creative. Um, so much fun. I love that zhuzh. All right. More zhuzh. <laughs> That's super fun. And I'm just picking up colors at random here just to add like a lot of fun in here. So let's see. Oh, I'm loving these bugles a lot, actually. 
again thank you guys so much for watching if you're leaving comments thank you so much i will make sure to answer them um, after we're done here okay okay we're moving moving and grooving so fun yes i'm loving this all right one more zhuzh and then we'll put it all together that's a fun word zhuzh <laughs> I really like the colors that we've got going here today. It's not colors um, that I would normally put together. And I wasn't even like, when I was picking out like these uh, matching beads, I was not even thinking of like the colors of the check glass that I already had. I was just like finding things I liked, but they really work out with some of these colors. Um, really fun color mix today. I was not expecting that. All right, we got our zhuzh. So uh, let's make some simple and wrapped loops here. We'll make a wrapped loop. Ooh, that's really pretty. Take a look at this, the iridescence on that. That's so fun. So these would be fun even with just a little gold star. So for earrings, I would put a little gold star on this one, make another one, put a little gold moon on the other one for some asymmetrical earrings. I might have to do that next. Um, Super cute. So we're just making some wrapped loops here to secure our beads. Look, there's that gnat again. He's interested in the jewelry I'm making. Maybe he's an artistic gnat. <laughs> I want to make sure that this goes all the way down. Hmm. That's long enough. I might need to uh, redo this. I don't know if that's gonna like actually secure my beads here. Yeah, I wanna redo that. It's not my best wrapped loop. I mean, it looks nice, but the um, I'm gonna have to bend it closer to the beads to get the wrap that I want. Otherwise, I need a longer eye pin. All right, let's restring that. Boop, 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 moon, moon, moon. Faceted rondelle. Is that how I had it? I think I had it the other way. Whoops. <laughs> how quick we forget, right? I think that'll look better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. All right, we're going to bend this a little bit closer. There we go. If you're just joining us, we're making jewelry with our new Raven's Journey check glass beads. We've got some new moon faces, as you can see, some new faceted rondelles, some new melon drops, some new faceted teardrops, nautilus beads, all kinds of fun shapes and really, really beautiful colors. So uh, make sure to check those out. They're new on our website this week. I've got a link to all of them in the video description. Um, and you can find them right on our homepage, artbeads.com. So great, great colors and shapes and styles to work with here. All right, that's much better. Okay, we're going to trim that. And then kind of tuck that end in there. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Perfect little wrapped loop there. I'm going to do another wrapped loop on this guy. Oh, this is so fun. These colors are just, I'm in love. I was completely not expecting this color palette today, but I really love it. It's kind of like, I don't know, like I love ancient Egypt, so everything reminds me of ancient <laughs> Egypt, but they are kind of like Egyptian old world colors to me. Beautiful. another wrapped loop we love our wrapped loops here super fun okay loving that let's get those connected it's the wrong side open it up even just that would be cute as an earring pop your ear wire on the top 
I mean, you don't even need zhuzh, but we're going to add some zhuzh. <laughs> it's always fun. Always fun to add extra, to add more. And I'm doing the wrapped loops. So last week when I created earrings, I made uh, simple loops with the one-step looper, which is one of my favorite tools. But sometimes you want wrapped loops, and that's what we are doing today. And um, we have great tutorials for how to do wrapped loops on our website. We've got videos, step-by-step -step instructions. Um, practice makes perfect on these. I have made a lot of wrapped loops in my day, so I've gotten pretty good at them. Um, so just keep going. If your first wraps don't look great, just keep making more. Just keep making jewelry. <laughs> That's the secret. And then, um, then you'll get good at them too. So for wrap loops, you kind of just start with your chain nose pliers and um, you pinch you pinch your head pin or eye pin and then bend the wire over your chain nose pliers. You've got a nice little 90 degree angle there. You take your round nose pliers to make that loop, fold that wire back over the round nose pliers. Then you adjust your round nose pliers so that uh, bottom jaw is out of the way for you to complete the wrapped loop. And then you can either use your fingers or your chain nose pliers to coil that excess wire around the stem of your head pin. And just keep wrapping until your beads feel secure on there. There we go. And that one was a little messier than the last ones I've done. See, even once you've done a bunch, you can still make um, messier ones. But that's okay. No two wrapped loops are alike, just as no two human beings are alike. And that's what makes the world beautiful. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we are zooming through these little wrapped loops. I'm loving these little dangles that I've made here with the bugle beads. I love the bugle bead texture. I love the bugle bead color. That's just a super fun option for your jewelry designs. I've been into bugle beads lately. Um, haven't used them for the longest time, but lately I've been really eyeing them and trying to add them more into designs because they really are neat, especially in bead weaving and bead embroidery. They can add a lot of texture to your designs. So don't forget about bugle beads. They're really fun. Look at that. So sweet. All right, we just got two more little dangles to go and then we'll add them on and we can um, adjust the amount of dangles that we want to add to that earring if we like. So we'll see how it all looks. All right, one more, one more little zhuzh, little dangle. That's the word of the day, zhuzh. Um, some gemstones would look absolutely beautiful in here with these check glass and seed beads too. Love that. All right, let's add our little dangles. We've got them all wrapped up. And let me make sure that I am using... Oh, nope, that was wrong. <laughs> zhuzh, zhuzh. More zhuzh. Let's see if they all fit on here. <laughs> this is fun. It's like a party. Okay, that's cute. Um, I think I might just do three. Five feels a little too much. Maybe you could even just do one and that would be really cute too. But now that I have extras here, I don't have to make as many for my second pair. So I can use these on the second pair. So that's nice. Yeah, I think three is the way to go. That's fun. It's almost like a little body. <laughs> we could give him little arms right here. He'd be a moon man. <laughs> Cute. All right. Um, let's see. You know, I might just I might just do one. What do you guys think about just one? I can't see your comments, but um, maybe I can like psychically channel. <laughs> hmm. One or three. Maybe I'll leave it three and then look at your comments and see what you guys say. So vote now and then I will adjust the design accordingly. Or we could do something completely different, just like a little drop there. 
or just a little seed bead. Let me know what you guys want to see for to end this, and then I will adjust, and then you can see my finished design next week or later. <laughs> so yeah, leave your comment. What do you want to see? Three, three zhuzhes, one, or a, a different bead entirely? I want to see your ideas. Yeah, so then you just attach your ear wire to the top, and you got a cute little earring. Super cute. Fun. Oh my gosh, I love that little, I love the colors that we have here today and the little moon bead. I could make him a man and put some little arms here. That would be kind of fun for Halloween. <laughs> we can add a different little dangle here. Let me know what you guys want to see and I will adjust. Super cute. All right. Well, we had a lot of fun today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to check out those new Raven's Journey check glass beads.